Hey everyone, welcome. So I've been a Windows user for more than 15 years, but I recently purchased a MacBook Pro and I want to share with you some of the apps and configuration I've implemented on my MacBook to better accommodate my setup and workflow. While normally I would embrace a new OS and try to adjust my workflow to its functionalities, I do still use a Windows PC for work and actually spend more time on Windows than I do on Mac. For this reason, I really wanted some sort of standardization between both systems so that I would not struggle when switching back and forth between both machines. For context, my desk setup is very simple and includes having my PC or MacBook docked in clamshell mode and connected to a docking station via USB-C. Connected to this docking station are two monitors and a wireless keyboard and mouse. This simple setup allows me to quickly disconnect my PC and connect my MacBook when I need to switch between both systems. Now, let's dive into the specific apps and configurations that make transitioning back and forth between Windows and Mac more efficiently. Let's start with Scroll Reverser, which is a free application that allows you to reverse the scrolling direction and have independent settings for your trackpad and mouse. With Scroll Reverser, I can maintain the default trackpad scrolling direction in Mac OS, which I actually find to be very intuitive when scrolling and moving around, but the magic happens when I switch to using a mouse. The application automatically detects that I switch from a trackpad to a mouse and reverses the scrolling direction, aligning it with the typical mouse behavior found in Windows. This allows me to scroll up when pushing upwards on the scroll wheel of my mouse or scroll down when, ro when rolling down the scroll wheel. This helps me keep a consistent scrolling experience regardless of whether I'm using the trackpad or mouse. The app can also reverse both vertical and horizontal scroll directions whenever a mouse is detected, maintaining that natural scroll experience that I'm already familiar with. The next configuration and application on the list are related to the fact that I never got used to and actually dislike the use of spaces or additional desktops in macOS, particularly when working with multiple monitors. I found it annoying and difficult to have to open Mission Control to drag a window into a screen because maybe I had another application that was already on full screen mode on that screen. I wanted to simply drag applications back and forth across my monitors like I do in Windows. I realize this is very subjective, but I never got used to working with multi multiple virtual desktops and not even on Windows as they do offer that functionality as well. So to help with this, I went ahead and disabled the displays have separate spaces function under the desktop and dock settings menu. This will prevent my displays from being recognized as separate spaces or individual desktops and instead allow me to use one as my primary screen and the other as an extended desktop. On the same note of not being a fan of spaces, I really dislike the fact that when you press the green light button in any window, the application automatically goes to this full screen mode, creating an individual virtual space for the application. I wanted to click on this button to maximize the applications window and fill my entire screen without actually going into this full screen mode. Now, I know this behavior can be accomplished by holding the option key when pressing the green light button, but I wanted to avoid this and only do it with a single click. To accomplish this, I am using the app Better Touch Tool. If you're not familiar with it, Better Touch Tool is a Mac application that lets you extensively customize how your trackpad, mouse, keyboard, and other things work by allowing you to create custom gestures and actions for them. You can create shortcuts and integrate automations to really enhance your workflow, and a lot of people do get very creative with it, but for now, I'm literally just using it to change the behavior of the green light button, where I have created an action to zoom window under cursor every time this button is pressed. With this action, I am able to maximize an application's window to fill my entire screen while staying in the same desktop. The only downside to this configuration is that Better Touch Tool is a paid application that costs $24 for a lifetime license, but I personally think the price is very worth it considering all the things you can accomplish with it, even if for now I'm only using it for a single purpose. The last application I want to discuss is Altap. macOS does have the app switching functionality that can be triggered by pressing the command plus tab buttons on your keyboard. And this will bring up a window with the different applications you currently have open and allow you to switch back and forth between them. However, there are two downsides to this functionality. 
The first is that if you have an application open, but that application is minimized, switching to it with this shortcut will not maximize the app. Instead, it will leave the application minimized, forcing you to click on it on your dock to bring the window back up. The other downside to its functionality is the fact that if you have multiple windows for the same application, you don't really get to pick which window you want to jump to. You can only select the application as a whole. With the Altab application, you can bring a Windows-like app switching functionality to the Mac. Altab will allow you to switch between both open and minimized apps. It will also display every window you have open for a specific application, and it will even display a small preview of each window. You can even set up a gesture for it if you want to bring up the app switcher by swiping three or four fingers on your trackpad. And the best part of the application is that it is completely free and has become my default app switcher, at least for now. So there you have it. These are the key tools and configurations that have helped me create a more seamless experience when transitioning between Windows and Mac. It's really all about finding what works best for you on your own workflow. And these solutions have definitely made my life a bit easier. However, I know that everyone has their own unique way of doing things, so if you're someone who also uses both PCs and Macs, I would love to hear what strategies or applications you have found helpful. Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.